From the Tribune News Network, this is Newsbreak. I'm Kirk Smith. While health officials cautiously watch the most recent coronavirus numbers, there's added pressure being put on the competent authority to lift more restrictions. Officials concerned about the numbers on two days last week, Thursday and Friday, when more than 40 cases total were reported. No conclusions yet, but officials say they'll have to continue to monitor the numbers to determine if the country is headed into another outbreak. The hospital situation remains manageable, 16 persons being treated, two of them in the ICU. One more death confirmed. The total is now 179, more than 1,200 active cases. A number of businesses, including restaurants and theaters, urging the competent authority to further ease restrictions. Exuma MP Chester Cooper pushing for that island to get some restriction relief also. And the Christian Council says it's disappointed by the lack of communication over its request for increased numbers at funerals and weddings. President Bishop Delton Fernando. With the extension of the order, seemingly things remain status quo uh, until the competent authority comes back to us, which is very sad. Um, And this is why I've asked persons to stop writing me and to write all of the cabinet ministers, because we've been told by the competent authority uh, all the cabinet of the Commonwealth of Bahamas. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. A major corona-related travel ban is now in place. All commercial travel with Haiti has been stopped because that country has now ended its carnival season. The ban will last 21 days. Health officials say as of now they have no reports of any of the coronavirus variants in the country, and they want to keep it that way. The U.S. Coast Guard still searching for six persons reported as missing at sea off Florida. They were headed there when their boat capsized, according to a survivor rescued off Fort Pierce. Police have completed their investigations into that February 5th fatal shooting at Harbor Island that left Anthony Petit dead. They've charged 29-year-old Clarington Boleg with his murder. They've also charged 19-year-old Kadero Richardson with the February 7th fatal stabbing of a man on 2nd Street, The Grove, here in the capital. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's overnight AccU weather update brought to you by Bahamas Power and Light, BPL. No systems in the area, partly cloudy tonight. Overnight lows from the low to mid-70s. 72 at Freeport, 75 at the Capitol, 76 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories overnight. Winds 5 to 10 knots. The sea's 3 feet or less. There's a low tide now. The next tide around 10 tonight. Tuesday's forecast, mostly sunny. Highs in the low to mid-80s. Your weather update brought to you by Bahamas Power & Light, BPL. Through all severe weather situations, they will be there by your side. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. Looking for a home, lot, or condo? Then pick up a copy of the Tribune's Home Buyer's Guide. Every Monday, your number one source for homes, condos, lots, and home care needs. Open the door to your dream home. Plumbers, electricians, tilers, and contractors. It's the perfect place to advertise your business. Call us today at 502-2356 to book your space in the Bahamas' leading newspaper. The Tribune, the people's newspaper. World news headlines, bone-chilling coal in the U.S. An Arctic air mass is affecting major portions of that country, some areas with wind chills around 20 degrees below zero. There are major travel issues in the U.S. due to two winter storms hitting that country this week. Coronavirus vaccine rollout continues around the world. Countries are still dealing with the virus, though. Vaccinations are continuing. Demonstrations continue in Myanmar almost a week after a military coup there. So far, the military has not backed down on its decision to take over the country, and it's beginning to crack down on those demonstrations. Sports Notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section on TV. you got some soccer, college basketball, and the NBA. Buddy Heal and the Kings get the Clippers tonight. DeAndre Ayton and the Suns off. The Australian Open continues in Melbourne. You can find some matches on TV tonight. The Tribune Sports Monday featuring Shawnee and her winning 400-meter run in New York. All of your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports, you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.
Dot com.